Hello, good evening. The purpose of making this video recording is to share the future project that uh, we are going to carry out in the YouTube uh, and do a new ministry of putting up the teachings that we are giving out here in our church. As a church, we run a five days Bible school. And it is known as New, New Life Church, Five Days Bible School, or it is also known as the School of Supernatural. We have been doing it every year, and sometimes we do it once, twice, or thrice in a year. And through this school, we have been uh, raising up a lot of leaders who have been activated in the supernatural. So, <clears throat> As we all know, the whole world is facing an extraordinary situation right now. The government, the nation, the economy, the churches, the schools, the colleges, the Bible colleges, the training center, everything has been crippled during this pandemic and normal life has ceased. So, uh, as the body of Christ, we need to adapt, we need to modify ourselves, we need to be flexible, and we need to cope with the changes that is happening around the world. So, just as the pandemic started, even we as New Life Church, we started our online church services too. And we don't know how far it has been affected, but we have to cope with the situation. We have to adjust. We have to modify ourselves. So we did not want to stop being a blessing to our church people, to our partners and people around us. So we had to adapt and modify ourselves, and we had to start the online church services as the pandemic, the lockdown started. So, lately I've been thinking like uh, of how we can carry on with the impact that God has called us to do towards the people. We cannot give up the vision, the calling that God has for us as a church just because of COVID-19 pandemic. And we, did not, we do not even know what the future is going to unfold. An even more severe pandemic can happen, which may cripple the world, not more severe than the pandemic that we are facing right now. So as a church, as a body of Christ, we cannot die with the revelation God has given us. We cannot die with that revelation and get buried six feet under. We need to impart the revelation God has given us to the next generation and to the people around us. The sign of a successful leader is to raise up and train up leaders better than himself. So lately I've been thinking of uh, video recording all the Bible school classes that we do in the five days so that as we post it in the YouTube, people who are interested, people who want to get trained up in the supernatural, people who want to receive the impartation, the anointing, the teaching, the revelation, they can do so by attending all, uh, by attending all the recorded uh, video classes that we will be recording in the coming days. Our School of Supernatural, or New Life Church, Five Days Bible School is starting from 30 June and will go on till the 4th of July. So I want you to pray for us and look forward to the video recording of the classes that we are going to post in YouTube. We want to bless the world, we want to bless the people around us. We have been training up people from Burma, we have been training up people from Arunachal, from Assam, from Northeast, from different places. We have been training them up. 
and we have been activating them into the ministry of healing, miracle, supernatural, signs, and wonder, so that they can walk and do ministry even as Jesus walked with the Father. So I want to encourage you to try to watch all the video recording we will be posting in YouTube and share it with your friends also and try to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, but there's a difference between attending online classes and attending the classes in physical. It's like, uh, the, I want to give an illustration. For example, you met friendship with a person on Facebook and you like one another and you found out that person loves the Lord, you love the Lord and you have the same vision that you are here in Nagaland and she is here in America and you don't have any chance of meeting each other but you like each other very much and you have been praying for one another through the phone call, through the uh, video conferencing and so on and you have been expressing your heart, your love for one another and you decided to get married so you took the marital vows through the video conferencing and, and you met your own ring and through the video conferencing you exchanged the ring which you met for yourself and the other person also did the same and you got married okay and you even uh, signed the certificate through I mean like uh, I mean scanning the certificate you signed the certificate and so what happened is you got married you officially became husband and wife that's great wonderful but there is a vast difference between getting married with a person meeting them in person, being physically present, and getting married to them is totally different from getting married with a person through video conferencing. And it's not going to be the same thing. It's not going to be the same thing. You may become husband and wife through the video conferencing and taking marital vows, but it's not really going to work. Even though you are married, you are still going to sleep separately. And in person, you are not going to be able to embrace each other, hold each other's hand, serve each other physically by preparing food or washing clothes. Maybe you can pray for one another through the video conferencing and share the word to, of God to one another. But that's world apart. Meeting each other in person, getting married, and through the video conferencing, meeting one another and getting married is totally, two totally different things. And from this illustration, I want to remind you that uh, you can be attending our Bible school, you may be watching this teaching we are going to post on the YouTube. But there is a vast difference between attending the Bible school in person and attending the Bible school through the video recording. That's totally two different things. There are some blessings, there are some blessings that will only come through physically attending. There are some blessings, impartation of anointing that is done only through the laying on of hands or physically being present in that person's presence. So even though you may be watching our video recording of the Bible school classes, I want to encourage you, when the lockdown is removed and things gets back to normal, I would encourage you to try to attend one of our Bible school classes because uh, this has been effective this has been effective. We've been able to train up a lot of people from the secular world, businessmen, government employees, students, children, teenagers, married people, pastors, missionaries, evangelists. We have been training up people who have never done healing in their life. Now God is using them to do healing. 
people who have never been used by God to deliver the Mount Possus people, now God is using them to do that. So we want to encourage you. We believe that as you listen to all the video recording that we will be posting in YouTube, we believe that it will bless you, it will encourage you in your walk with God, it will strengthen you. And as Paul encouraged Timothy to be ready in and out of season in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, I want to encourage you. Uh, I believe that the second coming of our Lord Jesus is uh, very near. I do not know when. But uh, the Bible says, the scripture says that it will be like the days of Noah. And right now as we see things happening around us, the political development, the economic development, the religious development that is happening, and the natural disasters, calamities that is happening, we can see that it is like the days of Noah. And especially with uh, people becoming more materialistic and running after material things, we can see that we are living in the days of Noah. And with homosexuality, lesbian, and with uh, carnality being glorified through the medias and through different means, we definitely know that we are living in the days of Noah. So I want to encourage us, we need to be prepared. We, don't, we do not know what the future is going to bring ahead of us. An even more severe pandemic than the COVID-19 may happen. And the whole world may get locked down for, a, for an even longer duration than what we are facing right now. And all these things may lead to the development of the one world government and one world religion and for the setting up of the Antichrist and for a cashless government. I believe that all these things may happen because unless a situation like this, a COVID-19 pandemic comes up again, it's not easy to implement one world government, one world religion, and a cashless system, a cashless system where a transaction will happen to, uh, I mean like microchipping and so on. So I believe that uh, anything can happen so as the body of Christ is believer, uh, we need to modify ourselves, we need to adapt, we need to improvise, and we need to be ready for any situation so that we can be ready in and out of season with the word of God. So that is the reason, the purpose, why we are going to record our Bible school classes and post it in the YouTube. Because even if anything happens to me or to any man of God, at least if their teaching is being video recorded and being posted in the YouTube or any technological device, even if they are gone, their teaching will still remain. Like the uh, epistle that Paul wrote or Peter wrote or the four gospel that the author of the four gospel, Matthew, Mark, Lord, Luke, John wrote, Oh, see, they are gone, they are dead, but at least their teaching remains with us. And we are blessed and fortunate that we have the Bible with us, uh, which is there to encourage us, strengthen us, and help us in our walk with God. So like that, as all the uh, teachings of New Life Church, Five Days Bible School is being recorded, uh, or the School of Supernatural teachings are being recorded, uh, and being posted in the YouTube. I believe it is going to bless the body of Christ. Okay. And I want to encourage us. Let us be ready, prepared 